Hi, I'm Brian from Sex Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SKL Account Software. So, if you want to get training, support, or you want to come for a certificate course, you can contact me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding my company and also SQL accounting system with training video or you can make comment or inquiry over here and I'll answer accordingly. You can also go to youtube.com slash index technologies browse video to get all the previous tutorial videos regarding SQL accounting system and also SQL payroll system. In today's lesson, I'll continue with Purchase Report. In Purchase Report, we have Purchase Document Listing, where you can list out all the transactions in Purchase Module, such as Purchase Request, Purchase Order, and so on. For example, you want to look for Purchase Order Listing, you can set the date range, when to when, for the purchase order to be list up. Over here, you can select a particular purchase order or other criteria such as supplier. If you do this kind of selection, meaning that you only select one supplier like this. If you want to select more, you just click the dot button and take a You'll select three supplier within this period for purchase order. Let's show you a number. So this one way of looking at purchase order listing. You see the plus sign, meaning that it can show details, sales report. So this is a two purchase order and this is the details of the purchase order and the summary for it. At the same time, if you do this group or sort by supplier code for instance, apply. So the presentation or the layout of the report is totally different. It will be grouped by supplier. Let's untick the supplier and we set supplier then so see that the report will be grouped by supplier first then agent another supplier then agent still the summary you must understand how by and sort by if I agent to be the first agent then supplier so the layout will be agent plus supplier okay as long as you understand how to do the group and sort by you can make use of all the report in SK accounting system so you have outstanding purchase order listing purchase document list meaning that you can check all the outstanding for the purchasing for example outstanding purchase request is for you to know what is the purchase request within this rate this date range or this criteria that have not transferred to other transaction outstanding purchase order meaning that you already made purchase within the, this date range but you have not received the goods from your supplier because you have not transferred the purchase order to good receive or purchase invoice then you can do a follow up with your supplier outstanding good receive meaning that you receive the goods but the supplier have not give you the invoice yet so this outstanding purchase document listing remember the grouping sorting we can group by supplier
so this fire this purchase order this item have to deliver yeah. purchase price history for you to check the pricing history for a particular item in the previous transaction with the supplier you can take which transaction you want to be involved in purchase analysis these two analyze for example which supplier is your top supplier okay so on do an analysis with this criteria with this kind of transaction you want to take include amount of quantity include amount of quantity under which kind of transaction and the sort of thing the last one will be yearly purchase analysis this one then check out one transaction for a certain item we did it again so this all the report for purchasing if you have any questions you can contact me with this information i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you